my channel. I am Rita Brita Bhattacharji and today we are going to study Anjanipur's Tiger. That is the last poem, the poem number 6 of your Flamingo book. So here there are some of the things that are important that I have noted down about the chapter. You can have a look before we start. So here is everything. This is... So now let's start with the poem without wasting much time. So this poem is written by Adrienne Rich. She was a, a poet who mainly wrote about women. And this is also a poem about patriarchy, the male chauvinism. Okay, the male chauvinism. So first of all, for those who don't to know what is the meaning of male chauvinism is it is a male prejudice against women that they are superior in terms of ability intelligence etc okay so in the society especially in india who no one other than us can understand how much we suffer how much our society is male dominant and this is all about this chapter the title is a little bit confusing it says Anne Jennifer's Tiger so let's read the poem and understand it Anne Jennifer's Tigers prance across a screen so prance means jumping right to pass denizens of world of green so here topaz means yellow shiny stone okay these are th those gems that we used to wear that we wear in hand okay the ek yellow kind ka stone hota hai that is topaz and denizens means habitants the people who stay there uh, in the end of your book there is something written uh, written there uh, a person an animal or a plant that lives grows or often found in a particular place so in simple words habitant okay in this term yaha pe it's basically meaning habitant the uh, thing the that tiger is residing in that place they do not fear the men beneath the tree they pace in sleek chivalric certainty okay so here chivalric means majestic and sleek means elegant so in total, you must be thinking that I am going to explain it for you. Why do you need two words? You need to understand the whole para. And here I am, now I will be explaining the whole para. But before understanding the para, you need to understand the, these certain words. Okay, which may be new for some of you. So Aunt Jennifer's tigers were jumping across a screen. Okay, here screen means just say uh, the women used to Siu. Okay. So, siu ka ek jo circular pattern ka ek rata hai to hold it. Okay. To hold the, sway, uh, the cloth. Ha, so, that it's easier to siu. So, wo jaha pe kari thi. That part is called screen here. So, when she was siuing, those tigers were jumping. Okay. So, here jumping means maybe they were so lively. And so vibrant in colors that it feels like they are jumping. Huh. Bright topaz denizens of a world of green. They were, their eyes were bright. Okay. We all know all the animals. Okay, Like cows, cats. They have a, uh, in dark, their eyes glow yellow. Okay. So like that, they are trying to say okay. Their eyes were glowing yellow like topaz. Okay, sparkling yellow in the world of green. The world of green is forest. Okay, so as denizens, I have explained that denizens are the inhabitants of the forest. They pace in sleek, chivalric certainty. Okay. They pace in very majestic, proud way. Okay, in very majestic elegant way 
यू नो वेन एव वो दिपेस उनका पैर एकदम ऐसे जाता है फर्स्ट एक पैर जाएगा फिर एक और पैर सामने आएगा सो दे आर फ्रेंड्स इन दे आर जम्पिंग दे आर वॉकिंग इन अ वेरी एलिगेंट वे एंड टाइगर्स आर ऑलवेज एट्रीब्यूटेड एज समथिंग वेरी मेजेस्टिकल सो हेयर शी इज ट्राइंग टू से कि द टाइगर्स आर सो मेजेस्टिकल एंड केयर फ्री they do not fear the men beneath the tree okay there were men who are here to shoot them okay there are men who are there to shoot them to kill them but they are not afraid of them in spite of them being there they will go out in a very chivalric manner because they know they are so much powerful when the men out there beneath the tree Aunt Jennifer's fingers fluttering through her, through her well find it, find even the ivory needle hard to pull the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand so this is the main para of this poem so this is just not a short poem this is a complete uh, like this is a complete uh, publication of 19 volumes which include other writing like essays about racism and the male chauvinistic society so this is a whole collection by her and this is just a small part ha huh? so this is the most important part of this extract that is given to you that's prescribed for you so here it's written that uh, aunt jennifer's fingers fluttering through her will so when we, whenever we see the wool inside it uh, uh, put that needle okay so ek bar hath niche aa jata hai fir peech wal peeche wale jagah se aise upar aata hai theek hai aise karke hum log silai karte hain so just like that when she was doing this her hands were fluttering okay this thing is fluttering and along with this her the ivory needle okay the needle through which we sew with, uh, with the help of a needle we sew so that was so heavy to pull she was finding it heavy to pull that small needle that shows what she is weak now the tigers are so brave but she is weak that she is not even able to hold that ivory needle this small ivory needle that's so hard to pull for her the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand so here she says nothing else but this line explains it all the massive weight of the wedding ring in her hand okay the wedding ring is so heavy because just because of the assaults the marital assaults the marital violence happening with her okay so jo bhi atyachar ho rahe hain unke sath ye sab kuch in dono line mein define karke jata hai ki kitni wo weak hai just because the uncle is very chauvinistic person and he is a, a doing violence and uh, trying to overrule her and not letting her live a very happy and decent life so these are the violences happening inside her mind and that's how they are showing that's how she is swing the tigers okay so tigers are the implications of bravery so these two situation are completely contrast okay but here there is also a message ki maybe i'm not able to find uh, to fight for myself against my husband but my tigers will be brave maybe i am not brave but the tigers that i have created are brave will be brave they will not be afraid of anything that exist in this world when aunt is dead her terrified hands will lie okay 
So here, terrified hands. So how the hands are defined? Terrified. And this is transferred epithet. So now what transferred what is transferred epithet? Transferred epithet is like something that you are doing. Kuch bhi kar rahe, okay? Like uh, or something like that. Some thing that is there. Okay? Like your face. So this is your, my face and I'm happy. So transferred is like happy, uh, happy and epithet is face. Okay? This is transferred epithets. Like this, in this sentence, uh, terrified is what the hands are. She is defining how our hands are. So that is transferred epithet. I guess it's clear. Uh, and they were terrified and lied because they were so afraid. They are, uh, maybe because she died because of, uh, uh, because how the assaults were happening uh, with her, the violence inside and outside was terrifying her in every possible way. And that's why her hands were still yet terrified. Because when we are dead, our whole body is still. But still, the expressions in our face, uh, expression in our head, hands, tells it all. So this is how she tried to explain it. Still ringed with ordeals, she was mastered by. Okay, still ringed. So here ringed is that's surrounded with and this surrounded with she haven't said since still surrounded she could have used this word no? surrounded but instead of using this word surrounded she used ring because before this in the last the last paragraph she said the weight of the massive ring in her hand so here the ringed is used as a pun so she was and the ordeal means the suffering. So she was surrounded with the sufferings around her. Uh, and she was mastered by the sufferings. Her husband was giving him her suffering. The tiger in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid. Even though when her hands are ter terrified, even though when she is dead, but her creation, her tigers will jump, she prance and jump, brave and unafraid. Unlike her who was afraid and who is dead now, who is still. Okay, so both the situation are very much contrast. Okay, bohat zada contrast hai and this shows the male dominance, okay, the male chauvinism in the society around us and how is this affecting all of the situations inside a woman's mind, inside a woman's heart, even outside. She wants to be brave but she can't because she is afraid and that's why she is creating something that is very different. Maybe she wanted to be brave by like by creating those tigers. Maybe she wanted that braveness of those tigers. That's why she was creating them. But before she was able to master that braveness, she is dead. There may be so many reasons. But this poem hits different in a very different way. Okay, Because this shows the pain. The society, it defines the society, the structure of the society where after so many years, after so many technologies are invented which says both male and women are equal in our society but, but we still separate them. We still say that men are capable of many things that women are not. Maybe yeah, there is obviously proof that men, men are, in some ways, biologically fitter. Not, I won't, I won't say fitter, I will say stronger than women. But in some, in some things, women are much more stronger than men. 
even though physically men are, males are stronger but mentally women are stronger this i'm not saying i'm not making up all these facts but these are true and scientifically proven facts and about carrying weights a male can carry certain weights so can a woman carrying a child inside your womb is not an easy thing and we are doing doing this since eternity but still we are being judged and we are being divided in the basis of strength and this thing is being fitted inside our mind so this poem is just about all these things in 8th march we celebrate world uh, international women's day okay so why there is only one day to celebrate womanhood and why there is a day to celebrate womanhood there should just because we don't think women are equal men and women are equal we don't think that we always say the conditions are better but condi the being better doesn't means that the things are equal you will never drink a contaminated water even if we purify them because it's not safe just like that even the conditions are better it's not safe for women to reside in this society and this is our duty as a woman it is my duty to make this society this as a man this is your duty to make this society suitable for all of us to reside this poem says it all in just in few these few lines suppose इतने में इतना कुछ कह गया है सपोज यू रीड ऑल द नाइनटीन वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ दिस पोएट्री हाउ हार्ड वुड इट हिट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस पोएट्री हेयर आर ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड द मेल शॉविनिज्म एंड इट्स डेफिनेशन यू कैन राइट इट Pause in the video. I'm just giving you a, a chance to like screenshot it or pause it and write it. So these are all the important points, and the rhyme scheme is A B A B. Sorry, A A B B. Now let me define what is A A B B and how I have defined that. So screen and green rhymes. So this is how you understand a rhyme scheme. so the last word of the uh, whole line okay the last word of the whole line her clean and green is a a and free and certainty is bb just like that world world and pull is a a and 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 hand r b b so this is as simple as it seems this is how you determine the rhyme scheme agar kisi bhi there are so many on verse poem free poems okay so wahan pe nahi samajh mein aata but in the rhymed poem if it's, uh, it's asked ki rhyme scheme batao in lines mein then you it's very easy to see the last word और कौन सा वर्ड इससे मैच करता है ए बी सी डी ई वट एवर इवन पांच छह लाइन्स के बाद भी आ सकता है सो लाइक दैट इफ इट राइम्स इट विल हैव राइम स्कीम देन यू कैन डिटरमाइन इट इट इन अ वेरी इजी वे एंड इवन इफ नथिंग राइम्स इन द होल लाइन देन इट्स ए बी सी डी ई एफ एंड वट्स एवर ओके 
So this is all about this poem. If there is any kind of doubt or if you want me to give you notes and like pin this uh, the, pin the notes below in the description section or any other kind of help you can always comment me down in the comment section i will be more than happy to help you and if you like this video please also let me know uh, by giving me a heart or saying that i like it it appreciate it, it really helps me to know that it, I'm doing correct or not and uh, let me know that appreciates me this is just a way of appreciating and uh, that makes me feel happy uh, and don't forget if you like it don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel thank you